what's good is you get Tootsie and you're watching Tootsie Time and today I'll be showing you guys how I straighten my hair. You guys have requested this a lot but ever since I cut my hair it's been requested more. So since I've cut my hair I'm going to show you guys how I straighten it. This is the first time I've straightened it since the hair cutting video. I do not straighten my hair often. I straighten my hair once every two weeks. So I guess you'll say that's twice a month. So it's been about two weeks and a day and I've straightened my hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go from curly to dry to this, basically. So let's get into it. So I wash my hair using Giovanni's conditioner and shampoo. I have plenty of videos on how I wash my hair, which I'll leave linked in the description box below so you can see that. Nothing's changed. I still wash my hair the same, even though I've cut my hair. So once my hair is nice and squeaky clean, I have to deep condition. I feel like this is the most important part of getting sleek results. I use any conditioners I have around. Today I'm using my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist and my Shea Moisture. I think it's like Jamaican black castor oil. I just use whatever I have around, but I really do like Shea Moistures and Aussie's products. I put that all over my hair and I leave that in a bun overnight. So I go to sleep and I wake up the next morning, it's kind of dry, a little bit hard. Take out the ponytail and then of course I have to rinse this out. So I give my hair a good rinse. And then once I've given that a good rinse, it feels super soft guys. And the curls are popping and it's kind of great. Then I'm not done there. Now I have to put my heat protectant. For my heat protectant, I love using the Aussie Take The Heat 3 Minute Miracle Deep Treatment. And it's a heat protectant. It's just supposed to leave it on for three minutes but I don't listen, of course. I leave this on for at least 20 minutes. I saturate my entire head with this stuff and leave it on for about 20 minutes, and then I rinse it out. Once I've rinsed that out, my hair's even softer and it's nice and protected, it's deep conditioned and ready. So now, this is optional, I have dry scalp, so I use this dandruff dry scalp spray by Shea Moisture and just spray my scalp, and yeah, if you have dry scalp, then this is a good thing to try. It's okay. Then I use my Mane & Tail Hair Strengthening Daily Leave-In Conditioning Treatment. I spray that all over my hair just to condition it some more. And then after that, I do some more heat protectant and I use Lee Stafford's Heat Protection Shine Mist. And I love this stuff because it does keep my hair straight. So... That is what I do. And I do put a lot more product on the front because that's where it's the most heat damage. And then I finish it off with some grape seed oil. I don't mind which oil, but I like grape seed oil. And like I said, the front of my hair has been heat damaged. This isn't new damage. This has been this way for a very long time and the heat damage has always gone to the root at the front. So the only way I'm gonna get rid of that is if I was to just be bald in the front and that's not gonna happen. So I just put more product on the front so I don't make it any worse than what it is. And it's been working. Now I blow dry. I used to let my hair air dry, but I noticed when I let my hair air dry, I have to go over my hair with the flat iron more than once, and I don't like that. I prefer to go over it with one pass, so I blow dry it to cut down the amount of heat I have to use with the flat iron. But it's up to you. I mean, if your hair still straightens, if you don't blow dry it, then cool. But I just get better results this way, and I do that on medium heat. Once I'm nice and blow dried, it is time to flat iron. I use this Lee Stafford flat iron and it's got argan oil infused in the flat iron plates, so they say. I like this flat iron, it works, it's whatever. I section my hair in half and then I do half at a time. So as you can see, that's how big my sections are. I don't do super small sections, I really can't be asked. Now this flat iron brush is something that really, really helped get my hair sleek and smooth. I got this from eBay. I will list everything on my shop that I'm using today. And then I use the chase method and use my flat iron and the brush go down the strands of my hair one time only. I do not do more than one pass, okay? One pass is all I need. And by the way, this is exactly how I straightened my hair before I cut it too. So this isn't a new routine. This is the same way I've been straightening it before and after my haircut. So I just continue to use the chase method with my brush and flat iron. And like I said, one pass only. 
and I just want to stress that I have not gotten any new heat damage all the heat damage I had before is what I had from before this was what I had gotten before I started straightening my hair like this look how straight that gets guys with one pass back in the day when I used to straighten my hair I would go over it a million times I wouldn't deep condition first sometimes I would straighten on dirty hair so that would damage my hair so I want you guys to know that me doing this has not given me heat damage this is how I've learned to straighten my hair now and I haven't got any new damage and it gets my hair nice and sleek and straight. Yeah, the way I used to straighten my hair was ridiculous back in the day, but the damage is done now and you know, what can I do? After I've done all that, that's it. Basically, this is how I straighten my hair. So this is how my hair is going to look on the first day. And then as the days go on, the grapeseed oil will start to rub out. I only straighten my hair once every two weeks. Sometimes I stretch it to like two weeks and three days. But my hair really does last. It stays straight for the entire two weeks. The only thing that might happen is my edges will get frizzy. And that's fine because I can just put some edge control on it or wear a hat until it's time for me to wash my hair again. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video and it was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>